Hello and welcome to our uh, Weber County Commission recap video. I'm joined today by Ms. Shelley Hallisey from the Commission Office, who uh, we'll go to in a minute, but also by Ms. Uh, Lauren Schaefer, who's the director of our elections here in Weber County, and her team, or at least some of her team that are here. We're glad you're here, both of you. Thank you. Our Commission meeting, uh, this is for Tuesday, the 9th of July. Shelley, one of the great things that happened, we had a couple of presentations today. Can you go ahead and uh, talk about the one regarding ramp? Sure, I'm happy to. We were lucky today that um, Patrick Posey from the Eccles Community Arts Center came today and they presented us with this beautiful photograph. They had um, actually a beautiful art piece. They had 27 artists participate and this is the one that was selected. It's in Ogden City. It's a it's, it's representing something that is in Ogden City. Jim's gonna, gonna hold just that up. Hold that up. It talks yeah. about the right the silos coming down out in West Ogden. Right. They had 27 artists who went throughout the entire county and did some form of artwork, and then they had somebody come and judge it. And this is the one that was um, picked this year, and this will be hung in the commission. Uh, the commission offices and then next year they'll do this again that is the goal and we're really we're really honored and appreciate this from the Eccles Community Arts Center. Lauren tell us that uh, we entered into the board of canvases today why don't you tell us what happened with all that. So we mailed out um, 64,162 ballots. Um, we had a turnout of 46.2%. We basically went over the stats of how those ballots were counted, what ballots were rejected, and then who the winners are. And I'll quickly go over each of the winners and their totals. For U.S. Senate, we had John Curtis with 12,986 votes. For U.S. House 1, we had Blake D. Moore with 19,835 votes. For governor and lieutenant governor, we had Spencer J. Cox and Deidre M. Henderson with 15,592 votes. For attorney general, we had Derek Brown for 11,920. Um, for state auditor, we had Ricky Hatch with 16,873. And for state school board three, we had Brent Strait with 2,432 votes. Um, these votes just summarize how voters voted in Weber County, not overall the state. Um, we were also very fortunate to have a lot of poll watchers and help with our audits this election, which we really encourage because we really want to be as transparent as possible. So Thank please you. come. Today, you know, we're meeting down in the election offices. It's on the basement floor level of the Weber building here or the Weber Center. We invite any of you to come by and take a look. Now, listen, there's a lot of talk out there in the media about elections and their security. From my perspective, having gone through the trainings and having gone through the several tours here and even participating in audits, this is the finest election uh, group in the state and it, a lot of times in the country. Now, I've only had experience here in Weber County. I don't know what happens in other parts of the state and I don't know what other happens in other parts of the country, but I know here it's exact. Uh, I have incredible confidence and if you want that same level of confidence, we encourage you to come here, make an appointment, and tour the facility. Watch, go through the process, how the process has been created. It has had national uh, positive recognition, uh, even in Washington, D.C., by the process we do here in Weber County. So, Lauren and the team, thank you so much. This is just some of the equipment that's here, again, on the low level of the Weber Center. I wanted to also mention, uh, we had a moment of silence today for the passing of Sally and Richard Hendricks. And Richard, you know, and his daughter were tragically killed last Saturday on the 6th of July in Ogden Canyon. Uh, a terrible tragedy. We'll miss him. He was very generous, uh, donated much to many people in Weber County uh, through schools and other foundations. Just an incredible man. Uh, and most importantly, a great family man and a great father. Uh, I love you, Richard. And also, we uh, said goodbye to Lynn Taylor, who'd been with us in the uh, uh, clerk auditor's office for uh, more than a decade. Uh, he's uh, pursuing another uh, op opportunity with Richard Paul Evans. And so we have a great team here. That's why we're surrounded with the elections team today. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. We look forward to serving you another week. Take care.